morning Re record. Should be good to go. All right, this is the mayor manager meeting on November the 12th at uh, 901. And in the room is Linda Olson, Allison McKinney Brown, Jade Truscott Reed, Nathaniel Sierra, Stephanie Carlisle, and Sean Lewis. Good morning, everybody. I will start with the November 16th meeting. Um, we've got uh, a number of items, starting with the discussion of the Mile High Flood District's um, floodplain property acquisition fund. And we've assigned some time frames to that already. Um, we've got the uh, discussion on asset management and how we're approaching that. Um, also assigned times already. And we've got uh, the public hearing um, on the vacation of the right of way at South Grant Street and 2021 rate and fee schedule resolution. Uh, bill for an ordinance to. Let's see, we're on vacation of right away for Swedish, right? Yes. And then bill for an ordinance of the South Platte Renew farm lease agreement and an ordinance uh, authorizing an amendment to an IGA between CDOT and the city of Inglewood for the Dartmouth Avenue bridge. And a couple more, quite a few items on this. Um, we've got a water and sewer rate uh, fee increase ordinance, a 2021 sewer utility rate increase ordinance. And there are those, yes, one is fee, one is rate. And then we have an IGA um, with CDOT for the US 285 congestion mitigation study. Any questions on those? Sorry, I had a little interruption there, but um, did we put times? We have times that are clear, aren't there? Yeah, we do. Yes. Kind of did that last time. <laughs> we did. We went far in advance on that, I think. Yeah, it's like, yeah. All right. Well, November 23rd, um, we have a presentation um, on sustainability strategies. Um, well, these are all study session and then economic development update, snow and ice policy overview and title seven chapter uh, seven public aid, mutual aid and emergency response. And then we'll have the wayfinding and placemaking master plan update and a quarterly strategic plan update. Can you promise some snow so that we have some <laughs> snow and ice to deal with? <laughs> I wish. I really worry that we're going to have drought <laughs> from this winter. All right, any questions on those? Jody, can you scroll back up? So Ooh. how many items do we have on that study session? Four. Quite a bit, six. right? We have six items. It is um, a larger study session. And adds up to how much time? Does it add up to three hours or? Um, that's about an hour, an hour 40 to yeah, about three hours. Right it is a lot with annual, it is. OK. I think we can do it if we just, you know. I mean, are any of these ones that you think might go longer than what we've put here? I'm kind of wondering about that last one, Sean, the quarterly strategic plan update. Yeah, that that should be pretty short. Is it? OK. Mm -hmm. You're just going to give us sort of progress on things. Is that right? Yeah, so what I told Tim is like, let's just put the report in the in your agenda packet and just hit highlights because obviously you'll be able to read on the progress that we're going to be giving for each of your um, strategic plan goals. Okay. Uh, Nathaniel, do you think any of these are going to go longer than what we've put on here? Because we did this, I think, did we do this without you? Yeah, possibly, but I, I, I'm fine with it. I'm fine keeping it with the six items, unless, because we kind of have like a short December, at least like the 15th or whatever it is, if there's something that we could push off to that, potentially, I'm not too concerned though. Yeah, the, the problem I think with, um, Oh, I thought we had police discussion. 
So, and this was a question that I had. I have, I had it on my last sheet as December 14th, but then it was entered into iCompass as January 11th. Um, I was going to ask for some clarification regarding that on which date you preferred, but we currently have just these two items for the 14th right now. If we I believe it was set for the 14th. I I'm not too. sure why it was put in wrong. That may have might have been me. So I I remember sending police an email saying it's been slotted for the 14th. Is that so what that you guys my remember? Reflection too of where we had put it. So that's and that we would have a fair amount of time that night to talk about it. Okay. But it doesn't mean we can't put something off to the 14th from 23rd. I, I agree. I, I actually think we should move that transportation safety so that the only you, you're going to have two huge items that night, but it will only be two. And that is the off leash desk um, dog task force. Although that is just an update, which we only yeah. have scheduled 15 minutes. They're not but, coming to the proposal yet, are they? No, that is no. based off the Q1. <laughs> I didn't include this on there, um, but they did initially ask for a 15 to 20 minute presentation and then they had estimated 30 to 45 minutes for discussion, but you guys set the discussion time. So I just wanted to let you be aware that's what they had provided me when they entered it. Well, I think in the discussion then we should put 45 minutes for the dog task force. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So Sean, I thought we moved the transportation safety to the beginning of the year, or was that another item around? You moved resident safety. Oh, resident safety. Okay. <laughs> it was a safety. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move the, um, the that one as well. If that's okay with you, Mayor, the transportation <laughs> is to move it down because you may remember a couple of council members had concerns that the police task force stuff could actually be one meeting by itself. So right. If we're already sandwiching, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, with the off lease dog, dog task force, that's going to be a pretty long meeting. We could say one hour for the off leash and two hours for police reform. Mm -hmm. Sounds Would good. Would you like the transportation safety to go on January 4th? We currently have no study session items then. Where did a, we put where did we put the other safety item? I wonder yeah. if they'd want to. Yeah, I'm happy to put that there as well. It was on the following following meeting. Sorry, I'm trying Is to there track. A reason why those were separated? I mean, I know they're not exactly. Well, they were together at one point. Did we purposefully? I mean, not together in one item, but two two things separate, but on the same night. Was there a reason why we? Decided to go with different nights or was it just timing? I don't remember. Um, in regards to what, Mayor? I, have, I just want to make sure I'm understanding. The resident safety and the transportation. Yeah, the trans the transportation or the one we moved originally, uh, Sean had mentioned wasn't going to be ready. There was something holding it up. Is that right, Sean? Um, I, that could be right. <laughs> I'm not uh, immediately remembering. I know. Okay. Sorry. Let's see. Go down. It was. It was the resident safety and I feel like there was something that wasn't going to be ready so we moved it down but maybe we just keep those two together and keep them both on the 11th if you guys are okay with that yeah it was the police reform task force was we really I think that ties in with resident safety oh okay so so you're remembering correctly okay okay so back up to the police um, task force. I don't want a presentation for an hour. That's not what we're doing, are we? I just put that in. As you said, there was two hours, so I'm happy oh, to change that. Okay. My apologies. I don't know if there's any more. Well, so what will the presentation be for this, do you think? If there. Well, council asked staff for a pretty detailed analysis. Yeah. And so it'll be a combination of how the police department plans to implement with legal analysis on <clears throat> any problems. So, um, Allison and I guess and Sean, because you're over the chief police, so how it, the 14th is okay, right? That gives enough time. I think we decided that was enough for y'all to get that together. Is that still enough time? And then I, I know that council Absolutely. is wanting to con converse around this. So how can 
We can make sure the presentation has really good dialogue with it. In terms of kind of questions that we'd like for you to address or. Yeah, I mean, information about what what we can and can't do. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah, I guess I don't I don't know how it's going to look. What do you what are you envisioning? Maybe we don't know yet either. Well, Allison may want to join jump in, but we were really going to take the approach of here's how we would I guess we would probably start with is this already found in code somewhere? Um, and so it's already in place. Is it going to require additional policy kind of, uh, uh, you know, additional information in a policy? Legal will certainly be responding to, you know, is this something that contradicts state law or um, could be problematic? So I think it's going to be kind of a, each, each item is going to have its own kind of analysis is the way I see that. But some of them, I think, we could, like we can group all the policy ones together. We can, you know, group, um, you know, procedures together. So I think we can get through it, but I think it would take minutes. OK, let's plan that then and then an hour and a half of conversation. I mean, I think total if we if we say we're going to take two hours to go through this whole thing and whether you want to have it piece by piece that we talk about or whether it's a presentation and then respond to all. Um, maybe as we get closer, we can decide what what's best. We're still in the analysis stage of this information, so I would be guessing about time. But one of the things that if you say you want us to keep it to under 30 minutes, we can certainly we will meet that. Right at the moment, though, we're still pulling a lot of information together, so I'm still not sure what this is going to look like. OK, let's not worry about the timing of it. Let's just uh, let's just make sure that we have allotted two hours that night. And if we gain some from the dog leash. Update, I mean, if we're not making decisions or consensus on dog leash stuff, maybe it might even be less than an hour. Am I the only one with my video on? <laughs> it's on. <laughs> you, got one on you have a coffee cup in my face. <laughs> All right, I'm going offline too. <laughs> All right, are we ready to yep. move on? All right, so I think we've already, are we on December 7th? We are. We are. Okay, we've got the financial review for October and bu budget supplemental preview. And um, we're not totally sure we'll be ready with the supplement by then, but we're going to pencil it in for that time frame. And then we'll um, cover walkability in Inglewood based on your strategic plan, boards and handbook, student art calendar recognition, and recommendation to award a contract um, for security cameras um, at several buildings. And then <clears throat> motion to approve utility billing software with Cogsdale, uh, motion to approve transit shuttle services operations with MV Transport, and uh, of a contract to Wilson uh, and Company for Design Engineering Services for uh, on Oxford, and a contract renewal for on-call engineering services, uh, contract renewal for um, uh, more engineering services with Stanley Consultants, and uh, first reading vacation of a right of way for the Grant Street property, Police Department 2021 budget supplemental. This one is probably the one that we're going to have to do after we finish the task force stuff. This is why I was kind of hedging on the supplemental yeah, because that, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we will have an easement agreement ordinance um, for the Colorado Conservation Board um, for I think it's city ditch um, some work there. And then we've got an IGA with Arapahoe County to provide emergency management services. So that's just re-upping that contract. There is no additional cost with that this year. Um, are we still on December 7th? We are. It is. It's quite a bit packed onto it. <laughs> it is, but I think you've got quite a bit on consent too. I um, believe so, and I'm hopeful for these second readings as well. Yeah. CB 55, vacation of the Swedish right-of-way, um, SBR farm lease agreement, 
um, an ordinance authorizing an amendment to the IGA for the Dartmouth Bridge um, project and USGS water monitoring station joint funding agreement and finally return to in-person meetings. So, That'll be an interesting conversation. Yeah. In light of what's happening. Uh, but um, do we need to go back up or did we had we already assigned things to the study session topics? I think we had. Yep, it looks like we should yeah. be good to go. Good. <laughs> How many items do we have on study session for that as well? Three items. Three. That's way Three too much. The recognition. Can we, um, can, uh, you know, I was on the water and sewer board meeting on Tuesday night and they were given until, I can't remember, for the board and commission's handbook. But they haven't had a chance, they just got it. They hadn't had a chance to actually talk about it in their board meeting. I'm wondering if we need to give another few weeks for that. I don't know. I mean, the intent of that, maybe Allison can be helpful here, was to get feedback from the boards and commissions, or, or do you think we should be taking the lead on that without that yet? That was the boards and commit. I'm sorry, I took a phone call at the same time you guys were talking. Um, that was the boards and commissions handbook. Yeah, so I was just saying that um, water and sewer board just mentioned it on Tuesday night. And of course, there wasn't any time at the meeting to talk about it. And they're just saying, you know, look it over and send feedback by whatever date it was. It's before our next meeting to to um, our staff person for that board. But then there's no conversation in the board about it, which I think was some of the intent, wasn't it? To have them actually look at it and talk about it. And this is helpful. What isn't? What should be in there that we haven't thought of? Absolutely. We yeah. were really we've been asking them. I, I was told we've asked them for the last couple of months for feedback, but everybody's agendas are so full it may be getting pushed back. Um, if we can fill that entire 10 minutes with presentation just from the information we currently have. As a matter of fact, I was looking at that 10 minutes and thinking that we are really going to have to be on our game to stay with that because the uh, suggested updates that have just come through from the city council over the last year will probably require about 10 minutes to fill uh, to bring the city council back to back up to speed on all those topics. I haven't really heard anything new from any of the boards and commissions at this point, but um, We've been we've been putting all uh, suggested revisions into a folder for when we meet with you, Allison. Um, we've received some feedback from the budget advisory committee and maybe one other. But other than that, we've not received a lot of suggestions from our boards and commissions, but we have reminded them several times to please review it. I wonder if what we should do is ask all the chairs to put it on their agendas. Because they didn't put it on our agenda again. It was just sort of an afterthought at the very end. Please read it and give feedback on it. And I don't know if that's just water and sewer board as an afterthought or 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 what it is. Do you think we should push the date down then? I would I would think so unless we're really yeah, I I I mean, like I, I do know we have a lot of content as of now, like um Allison said, but yeah, if that's we really I, want them we even if even if it doesn't mean that they give us more ideas or advice or anything or tips or anything or changes or concerns it seems like it would still be in good it would be good for them to have seen it and have had to talk about it oh absolutely and i think once there's revisions made i think there's going to be a really big push to make sure that it is a topic of conversation and we're going to build in some trainings around that. OK, well, maybe we don't need to do that then. Nathaniel, have you been on any boards and commissions that have actually talked about it? Actually, I was just thinking of that and whether or not it was ETAC or BAC that had a conversation about it. I think BAC had a conversation. I'll have to go back through my notes to find out what it was. But so Stephanie is the chair or um, does staff liaison, are they taking notes of these comments and relay them back to you or to Sean? What's yes, we've asked the staff liaisons to um, 
you know, just provide anything that comes from the boards to us so that when we bring it forward, we're combining, you know, minor changes that are just updates along with council um, council suggestions for updates and then we're incorporating the board and commission suggestions. So yeah, yeah. I was gonna say the other note that I do recall is I, I'm pretty sure it was BAC that talked about it, but not everyone had read the material. Yeah. Fine because it just came pretty quick with them. But I guess as long as we make them aware before their next meeting that they should provide any feedback on, on that information because I do want everyone to chime in on on, on that handbook before we start talking about it. And I have ETAC tonight, so uh, I may bring it up as well tonight. So are you in favor of pushing this down the road a little bit then, or do you think we should still leave it where it is? Well, it's December. What day is it that we have it on? December 7th? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we have a lot of things on that night, right? I, I want to weigh in on pushing it back uh, because I'm worried about the time. It's a long meeting, and I'm really not confident that we're going to keep it to the time limit that we've set for it because this is the first major review by the boards and commissions as well as the city council. I would rather push it back and give it enough time to make all the different stakeholders comfortable with the handbook than, than push it forward right now. Although I will tell you that we'll bring it back for review again in November of December next year. I really want to keep it on a November December annual review process, but it based on the time, I, I think we, we could move it back. Okay. I agree. I do too. The only other one that would be movable is the walkability. Otherwise, I think, um, and we've been moving that one too, but uh, I think I would prefer to have more input from the boards and commissions, even if they say, well, I don't have any input. At least we've asked and pushed really hard. Okay, I'm fine with moving it back, but now I have a question about the walkability. <laughs> <laughs> So Sean, I'm kind of I'm just interested to find out why is it a community development that is responsible for walkability and not public works? And I'm guessing public works is then responsible for the transportation safety. Yeah, so that's a great question. What the way we've kind of broken this up is um, talking about walkability um, in terms of a, a function of city planning, in terms of you know our wow. policies on on you know sidewalks how we do trail planning um how we make you know the streets pedestrian friendly um so i think that that's that was kind of the the goal was to kind of focus on that in this mm -hmm. first one with um you know ha bring in you know crosswalk safety from more of a public work standpoint um i think when we mm, yeah, I, I think what we were going to talk about first, and, and I know Brad and Maria D'Andre have worked this out on how to kind of split this up, but talk about it first from a planning perspective, and then Public Works will come in later and talk about it from an implementation perspective. Okay. Actually, can you do me a favor? As part of that conversation, can we make sure that we discuss? I get a lot of questions about when the sidewalks are not ADA uh, compliant. You know the sort of sidewalks on some parts of district one i never recall what the proper answer is for that because they always ask well if we're doing the development or the house is being redone why can't they redo the sidewalk to make it ada compliant so can we make sure that that's covered as part of the walkability yeah um stephanie or jade um if you guys could make a note of that and and then let's just touch base with um maria deandre and let her know we think that this might should be more comprehensive, especially if we're going to move board and commission handbooks. Maybe we can extend this presentation to more like 20 minutes and kind of bring in the public work side as well per Nathaniel's suggestion. I think that's a great idea. I don't think I All right. Okay. <clears throat> well, I've got my coffee now, so I think I can speak now. <laughs> you haven't had any coffee since our I seven have not. thirty. I jumped in on the seven thirty meeting and didn't have time to go make coffee. Oh yeah. 
All right. Um, are I we at the... the... We're on oh, the 14th, but I just put the board and commission handbook there temporarily. Which, by the way, is Santa Lucia. <laughs> What's that? It's Santa Lucia that day. Oh. It's actually, the night of the 13th, I think. Well, yeah. Once you get little saffron buns brought to you in bed in the morning by a little star girl and star boy and angels. <laughs> what is this? My is family, this? <laughs> my family celebrates this. Oh. It's hard without the little kids, you know, in the household anymore. <laughs> is that a Scandinavian thing? It or? is. Santa Lucia brought light to, she was actually banished from Italy and ended up in Sweden, I think, and um, brought light to, you know, the dark it's connected with Christmas, but it's a very cool. fun little festival. All right. Well, looking at December 14th, um, we do now have the off-leash dog, dog task force, the police. Oh, we've already done that, haven't we? Yeah, we've basically. added boarding commissions. Yep. So we're actually on January. So oh January God. 4th, um, we jump right into a public hearing. Um, so apparently we don't have any study sessions on this one yet, but so board and commissions uh, there. Would you be okay with that? Oh, moving it to the fourth. Is that what we decided? Would that be okay with um, mayor and with, um, council member? Uh, yeah, I think to me it makes sense to have it on the fourth and not on the 14th. Just because of that police task force. Perfect. Yeah. But how would we make sure, Sean, that um, all of the commissions are actually putting this on their agenda? We well, just... I think Stephanie and, and her team have talked to the liaisons. It's possible they just, I don't know if they've had full meetings, but Stephanie, you guys are taking care of that, right? You're muted if you're trying to speak. Well, that would be really helpful if it was asked that they actually put it on the agenda as a discussion night. It hasn't been for water and sewer. It's just been sort of a last minute. Well, I guess it's kind of been there, but <laughs> I guess ask the chairs to actually lead a discussion of it. That people and it's attached again or something. I don't know. Maybe it's yeah. just the water and sewer board um, goes and we could have had some time this last time of talking it through. Um, we had a lot of time left. Yeah, we'll Maybe. make sure that that put on there. Yep. Good. Thank you. All right. So um, now January 4th, we've got the one study session item with boards and commissions. We'll have Winslow Crane PUD designation of the official posting place for legal notices, which you guys have to do each year. We'll have um, resolution appointing members to various boards and commissions based on your interviews. Um, first reading of a vacation of right of way for Grant Street and Police Department uh, 2020 budget supplemental. This is probably the more realistic place for this to go. And then an easement agreement um, with uh, Colorado Con Water Conservation uh, Board. And then second reading for an IGA for emergency management. Yep. All right. Moving on to January 11th, we've got presentation of Unified Development Code assessment of out, uh, assessment outreach findings, and we'll talk about what we've gathered at that point and talk about whether or not council would like some more information. Um, we did on Friday in your Friday report did send out um, a survey uh, instrument um, for you guys to look at that. Um, yeah, we want to send to almost every resident in the city. It's, I think, the plan. And then we've got the resident safety and transportation safety um, study session. And then we don't have it on here, but just keep in mind the 23rd of January is your annual retreat. And so I don't know if you guys wanted to skip a study session in lieu of the retreat. Um, that's just something to think about. But on the on the 19th of January, we will have the Winslow Crane PUD um, first reading. And then the 23rd, your retreat. 
and then we'll have the green building code discussion. This is the follow up that you all asked for to talk about how we can incorporate um, green building code as well as some other code amendments that have been requested that we analyze. And then, um, and by the way, that's on the 25th of January. And then the last thing we have is February, um, and that's the PUD for Winslow Crane second reading. That makes sense. Questions? Concerns? So on the, on the annual retreat, did we do that? So that's a Saturday. Is that what we did last year, or we, did we do it in lieu of a study session? Um, we did it uh, in addition to, I mean, we didn't cut any study sessions last year for the retreat. Okay. I just was saying that could be something that you could do. Oh, that's right. I, that's the one where we went to the police station, right? Right. Right. So I'm sure we'll be having a, a virtual retreat, um, but we do think it's important to touch base with you all kind of to uh, update the strategic plan. We've got some modifications that we want to suggest to you. You will have started by this time having seen the, the third and fourth quarter kind of reports that we'll be giving you. But I think it's a good time to say, OK, we've checked a lot of the utilities stuff off of our strategic plan. Um, I mean, obviously not the construction. That'll stay um, a big part of staff assignments. But, you know, are there some other things that you know you all want to look into as I've had my one on ones with council um, so far Joe Anderson is the only one who said I really want to move into the walkability stuff more in depth and then um, of course mayor you um, certainly want to make sure that we're you know implementing and working on uh, the homelessness action plan so but so far that's all I've got in terms of kind of newer or different things yeah so I think the retreat will be a good time for us to flush some of those things out, assign goals to those, and over the first quarter, kind of get the strategic plan updated to show what can be taken off and what new needs to come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I but, need but to. If you guys have other ideas for that retreat, let me know. <laughs> yeah, I have to think about that a little bit. Um, but I think those are great starts mm -hmm. and I would like to take a Monday off if we can in order to do that. But if we, we got to figure that out. When is that? So it'll be the 25th that we would want to take off. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hey, by the way, Sean and Stephanie, for the since we are now looking at the first Monday of January, can we let the people that uh, interview for the board of commissions that that's the date that we set. Yeah, so we'll send out a communication um, thanking them for the interviews and letting them know that it's coming forward at that meeting so they know. Perfect. On that note, we had a resignation in water and sewer board <laughs> the next day. Oh, I don't know what we can okay. do about that, um, or at least uh, I don't know if the chair sent that along to you. I don't they think they did. They, okay. I did see that. So, of course, the timing. But we are happy to, um, if you guys want to look at that and do just interviews for that position um, and then still bring it forward with the others in January, we could look at doing something like that. Could you put it in the mayor's choice this um, week that I bring it up? Yes. Okay, that'd be great. And I can ask folks. I have to jump into another meeting. Well, good timing. I don't think we have any council requests to discuss, so I think we're we're done. Right. All right, the, it's nine thirty-five, and the mayor manager meeting is adjourned. Thanks, everybody. Have Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.